How's it going, everybody? Bam, back with my Rocket League Championship Series Spring Open predictions for the North American Regional. 16 of the best teams in the world going at it. Double Elim. Let's jump right into it. We got FaZe Clan against Hey Bro. Hey Bro, of course. Uh, Eris, Creams, and Hockey. I think that's actually a really solid team. I think they're definitely deserving uh, of a top 16 spot. However, uh, FaZe is just them right now. Uh, FaZe will uh, will not have any issues with that. But Hey Bro, definitely a team to watch out for moving through the spring there down in that 12th through 16th range. Space Station versus M80. Speaking of tight battles uh space station of course losing daniel to version one uh adding hoxer in there as that third spot and then m80 i really like this m80 roster percy lion blaze kinsey i think that's a really good roster i think space station might take just a little bit to get going so i like m80 knocking off space station here uh those two teams neck and neck in the points neck and neck the whole season um, should be a should be a good one here in the first round. Speaking of good ones, <laughs> Gen G and Furia, just some absolute bangers here in the first round in North America. Gen G and Furia, Furia looking hot right now, uh, but I do think that they cool off just slightly. I, I still really like Gen G. I think they're one of the top four teams right now. Uh, Furia definitely boosting themselves up, definitely playing a lot better so far in the spring from what we've seen. Uh, but I think Gen G. When the when we when the money's on the table, uh, Genji have definitely looked like one of the one of the top teams. So we'll go with them. Uh, Dignitas and NRG. I think the NRG slip and slide continues. Uh, Dignitas, you know, they've been kind of up and down. They didn't have a great performance uh, at the uh, Winter Major. Uh, Dries, Andy, Evo, uh, I they got absolutely shut down uh, at the major, but. I think they're back in their comfort zone here. They're playing NRG. If you're asking for a first-round matchup, you know, NRG dig, that's right there in the middle again, very similar to Space Station M80. Um, I think Dignitas is, is just a little bit better, but would not surprise me to see NRG win that one. Complexity and 0-1, zero 0-1 to, one, uh, zero to one Astro, Angel, and Tool. Uh, Astro, keyboard mouse player, so keep an eye on that. Uh, gotta love the the KBM boys, but uh, unfortunately, complexity just playing way too well right now. They did get eliminated from the Gamers Eight tournament, so uh, something to keep an eye on. But I I think that was more just that this new Koi roster is that good um, than it is complexity uh, complexity failing to meet expectations. So something to keep an eye on, but complexity still definitely better than zero to one right now. So three zero sweep for them version one and shopify we get to see a daniel in beast mode uh maybe a slow start maybe shopify get game one but other than that i think this will be real simple for version one i do like the shopify uh roster memory parth and two piece uh two piece is a is a very high ceiling high mechanical player uh memory long time player definitely one of the vets in north america uh, and parth is just so, just sort of that wild card you know he's uh, he's a really skilled player uh, but just a really tough first round matchup here for Shopify. Uh, they get V1 and they get they get blown down to the lower round. G2 Esports against Sup. I you know Sup Money Expert Ajax. Um, I don't know too much about any of those guys. I think Money and Ajax were both on E United at some point. Uh, I know I'm pretty sure Ajax was. I think Money also was, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, uh, yeah, I think I think Sup is probably Sup and Hey Bro to me are probably the two weakest teams. Uh, maybe zero to one, um, but I, that's <laughs> you know if your team you know fourteen fifteen in North America, you're still you're still definitely one of the best in the world. Um, but I think G two just way too much. They're the threes team. Uh, this there's no ones and twos involved in this one, so G two. Uh, I think they'll be more than ready for SUP. And Koi Optic, this is probably the hardest matchup for me. I really love both of these teams. Um, but, I, you know, I got to go with Koi. You know I got to go with Koi. Moving on to the lower round one. Hey, bro. Uh, unfortunately, uh, bro is going home 
uh, in the 12th to 16th or 13th or 16th. Space Station just too good. And then this is a very dangerous lower round one. If Fury goes home here, that's not going to be great for them in the points. If NRG goes home here, that basically just eliminates them from everything. I mean, I, it would take winning the last two, basically. I mean, it would that would just be so bad for them. Uh, and unfortunately for NRG, I, I do think that they go home here. I think Fury is just playing too well. Um, you know, they, they're, they're kind of, I think they're kind of going to take that complexity route where complexity showed up in North America, struggled a little bit early on. Once they kind of got the groove down, once they kind of figured stuff out, then they started to win some more. I think Furia, um, more, more than capable of, of making a run here from the lower bracket. And I think they started off with a three, one over energy zero to one and Shopify. I think Shopify is too much, uh, zero to one, not quite there yet. And I'll, uh, I'll say the same thing for SUP. Uh, I think Optic Gaming, just too much for them. We'll head back up to the upper quarterfinals. I think FaZe, uh, just too much for M80. Again, you know, maybe M80 gets the first game, but uh, FaZe just just way too good. Gen.G and Dignitas. This is a scary one for Gen.G. Dignitas has played them pretty well, you know, relatively speaking, you know, compared to everybody else uh, in North America. But I think Gen.G is, is good enough to do that. Complexity and V1. Probably the two favorites in the uh, Gamers 8 thing before Complexity got eliminated. Um, and I think I think they get eliminated here too. Or not eliminated, but sent down to lower round. Uh, I really like this V1 roster. I don't think it'll take as much time for V1 to sort of gel together. I think Beast Mode and Daniel play enough twos together um, that, that they'll be they'll be just really solid. Com just doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> he can just run around, uh, do whatever he wants to do, and... Uh, Version one will be fine. G two over Koi. Uh, this is a this is a, this will be a good game too. Koi gave G two some troubles in the gamers eight. Uh, you know, so who knows? But uh, yeah, there's no there's no cosmic uh, for for Koi here. Um, so I do think that they fall short, but they do bounce back. I think Space Station. I think I man, it really sucks to not pick Space Station here, but. Uh, unfortunately, I, uh, I do have do have Koi beating them. Complexity and Furia, one of them has to one of them has to go out. And uh, unfortunately, I think it's Furia. I think Complexity's just been playing too well. Normally, I would say, you know, seven times out of ten, I probably pick Furia in this matchup. But you know, as good as Furia's been playing recently, as good as they've looked, uh, and just from stuff that I've heard, I don't think it's enough. I think Complexity is just too good. Uh, I think Complexity keeps the dream alive here in the lower bracket. Dignitas, I'll give them the win over Shopify, but I think that's going to be a really close game. And then M80 Optic again, I think it's real close. You're you're starting to you're starting to get to the nail biters here, uh, heading into the top eight. We'll go ahead and stay here in the lower brown, lower round three. We'll go with Koi uh, falling out here to Complexity. Not a bad result for Koi first uh, first event together, uh, but they will uh, they'll bow out here in the top eight. Uh, and Dignitas, I think Dignitas probably joins them. I think Optic, you know, they've had a little bit of time together. They've been looking really good. They've been looking better. They're kind of like Fury in that sense. They've looked a little bit better here. Um, so we'll have Optic moving on. FaZe and Gen G, the the Titans, uh, we'll have, well, are these best of, yeah, these are best of seven now. So we'll have FaZe uh, over Gen G. And I know V1 made the roster move, but I think, I think G2 gets them. I think G2 gets them here. Call me call me biased. Call me crazy. I think G2 gets them. I think they do. Uh, we head down here to the lower bracket. I I think I think Gen G bows out to complexity. Gen G after this great run beating Furia Dig, they're gonna lose to FaZe Clan and Complexity and bow out here uh, before the top four. Uh, and also joining them bowing out here is is gonna be Optic. I think version one. Uh, is good enough to make a top four here in their first run together. And uh, there we have it, the top four. We'll stick down here in the lower bracket. Version 1 in complexity, I think version 1. I, I really like this roster. I think it's going to be a very scary roster. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I think it's I think it's real good. It's going to be fun to watch, too. FaZe uh, Clan, FaZe Clan beats G2. That's not what I meant to type. I meant to type you down here. Uh, phase beats G2, uh, and then we've seen it all the time. 
seen it all the freaking time uh you lose in the you lose in the upper you come down here to lower and you just you just get you just get stomped best of seven bracket reset uh but it's not gonna be needed i think phase i think phase wins i think phase wins they've they've just looked too good i think they're the most dominant team in na right now uh and i think they're just the the team to go with uh, until they prove until they get proved wrong i think you just kind of got to go with them so there you have it top four of phase version one g2 and complexity just missing out there in the top six were gen g and optic let me know what you guys think down below oh i guess we could take a look at the points after that so spring open you still have phase at number one extending their lead on gen g or i guess taking taking the lead taking the lead from gen g uh g2 and complexity staying right around the same spot here in third fourth version one picks up a big boost they jump space station or uh, extend their lead on space station i guess i should say uh, and i i think these are your five major teams by the way phase gen g2 complexity v1 i think those are your five best teams i think those are going to be your five major teams um and i think the rest of the teams need to <laughs> need to have some luck if they're going to try to get in uh, as we look over here on the spring split points uh here i'll move my uh move my webcam down so we can just look at the spring over here on the right the spring points i think these are like i said i think these are going to be your five major teams i think optic dig koi space station furia all those teams are very good and uh, you know honestly those those five teams could be in their own minor major you know for all i care uh, that's how good I think North America is right now. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I I think they get it done. I think FaZe gets it done. I think they win the Spring Open over version one. And, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get rolling right into Spring. It'll be this weekend. I should be streaming Watch Party. So if you want to tune into that, the Twitch link will be down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Who's, who do you have winning it? Do you think V1 can make a statement in their first uh, regional together? Let me know what you guys think down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and click that like button. If you enjoyed, uh, click the dislike button. If you didn't, I'm always open to criticism. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.